Okay, here's a solution um, to fix the wireless networking. Um, occasionally something will happen to the driver and you'll be able to see any wireless networks. Um, I can see mine, but on yours you'll have a sim screen similar to this, but you just won't be able to see any wireless networks. You'd probably say that there's no wireless networks in range. Um, here's a solution to fix that. Um, there's three stages. So the first stage is to go down to the bottom of your screen and this little green lock symbol here we're going to put the uh, the mouse on there and we're going to right click it so we're going to use the um, we're going to use the right mouse button instead of the left so right click that and then select the middle option disable fbwf and then the machine's going to prompt us do we want to restart so we have to put yes and then the machine's going to restart itself um, can take 30 60 seconds to restart itself once it restarts then we're going to do step number two so we're just waiting for that to restart and we're not sure why this happens just occasionally it can happen um, if if you know if you think you know the reason why um, this has happened please please let us know because we don't have any idea um, luckily it's easy to quite easy to fix and um, you know just follow the videos it just takes a couple of minutes to fix this so the machines restarting um, we should be get good to go in a, in a few more seconds and then we're going to move on to stage two what we're actually going to do is we're going to delete the Wi-Fi driver then we're going to restart the machine again and the machine will um, reinstall the driver for us. So quite a simple procedure. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on the bottom right of the screen again. And what we're going to do, um, we're going to go into the wireless networks. In fact, you can go to any of the wireless network, any of the networks. This is the wireless, this is the wired connection. Um, so we can, we can point to any of them. Again, we're going to right click and we'll get a box that comes up and we're going to choose this one this is just a normal click now open network connections so we're going to choose open network connections and you can see here's a list and we're looking for the wireless one on mine it's at the top yours you know may not be but it's the wireless one that we're going to choose again we're going to right click on there we get another menu and this time we're going to choose properties so here's the properties page. You, have, you should have something that looks pretty similar to this. This is your uh, Wi-Fi interface. You may, may have a slightly different Wi-Fi interface, that's okay. Um, as long as there's the word Wi-Fi in there, pretty much, you know, it's the right one. So we're going to hit this button here, configure, and we get another page. And then across the top tabs, we're going to choose the one that says driver. And then you can see we've got some buttons on here and we're going to click the uninstall, which sounds pretty drastic, but um, this is how we fix it. So we're going to click uninstall. We're going to get a warning message. Do we really want to do this? Yes, we do. So we're going to click OK. And that takes a few seconds to actually uninstall the Wi-Fi driver. And then we'll go back to the, the list of uh, networks and you can see the Wi-Fi one has disappeared. There's no Wi-Fi network in there, which is okay. That's what we want to do. So we're going to close this box and then we're going to come down here. And uh, we're just going to, we can either restart or switch off. Um, I'm going to leave it at shut down. I just find it easier to shut the machine down. Um, you can change it to restart if you like, but I'm just going to stick with the shutdown. And we're just going to wait for the machine to, to close down. Okay, so it's closed down. The power light has gone off the front. I'm just going to press the power button again. Um, this button here, I just press that again. So the machine's going to start up again now. And again, it's going to take 30, 60 seconds just to start itself up again. Um... And that's sort of step number two, which we've we've more or less completed. Now, once that starts up, you should be able to see the Wi-Fi networks again, and you should be able to connect to your existing Wi-Fi. But there is one final step, step three I'm going to show you, which is uh, very, very important, and that's to re-enable the right filter. 
and you know the right filter has been re-enabled because the lock the lock symbol in the bottom right hand corner will change back from red back to green never run the system with that lock red for any periods of time um, it protects the flash memory in there um, if you run it red number one the system will run slower anyway which would be pretty horrible and number two you know there's a danger of um, I'm just going to close up on that one because you can see it's found new hardware. What it's done is it's just rediscovered the network interface and it's reloaded the drivers. And uh, I know mine was working, so you know there's not going to be a huge difference. But if I pull mine up, um, it's doing a search, and you can see it's found my Wi-Fi uh, networks, and hopefully it will have found yours as well. So that's it. You can just click on one. You can just hit the connect button. It may even auto connect if it's remembered the password. This is where you put the password, it calls it a key, but it's really a password. You have to put it in twice, just to make it really tricky. <laughs> um, once you've connected, once you're back on, everything should be good. But the last thing we need to do, notice the lock is still red. So it's really important um, that we go on there. Yeah, and on the lock, we right click. And again, this is really important because there's two options. There's the top one, which is just the uh, uh, enhanced right filter. We don't want that one. We've got to do this one here. So the lower option, enable file-based right filter, FBWF. Click on that one, and we'll get a prompt. Do you want to restart the computer? We put yes. Computer's going to restart itself one more time. Once it's restarted, it should find the Wi-Fi networks. Um, hopefully you should be good and you won't have the problem again. Um, any feedback is welcome. Thank you.